We should be live. We are live. We are live. If we're not live yet, we should be live in three, two, one. We're ready. Jeremy, are you ready? Let's talk about the Echo Dot third gen. Echo, 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 yes. echo, echo, echo. Not that kind of echo, but this oh. is an Echo Dot. That's a good. That's a good impression, though. Echo Dot. Echo Dot. Da, yeah, da, 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 da. I like this, this you image you made. Pretty cool. The one obvious thing about the Echo Dot third gen. What is it, Jeremy? It, it has a clock. Yeah, I think that's it so tell cool. you time. Actually, this no, you know what? Uh, yeah, visually it tell you time, but Echo Dot itself will tell you time. Yeah, either. but okay, yeah, <laughs> but when you the the thing is when you wake up or in the middle of the night, you just want to like open up one eye and say, "What time is it?" You don't want to just ask Alexa what time it is because then. If you're sleeping with a partner, then like it's a volume ten, and it's like the time is five a.m. Like oh crap, you know. So you want to just peek and look at the clock. And I ha I have a Google Home Mini, so I see a clock on my Google Home Mini all the time. I love it for that feature. Mm -hmm. So I think the Echo Dot having this clock is amazing. I mean, I always want to get one. I just don't know what I do with it. Dude, you can do so much. Check this out. Um. I don't have an Echo Dot because I already have Google Home and it's Siri all over. But I'm thinking about adding Echo Dot because okay, number one, if you connect it to a smart plug, you can just say, "Hey Alexa, turn on the light." Oops, did I activate someone's <laughs> Alexa? But yeah, you can say turn on the lights and they will activate that. Or you can say, "Alexa, wake me up to hip hop at 7 a.m." and it will program your alarm. To play some hip hop music at seven a.m. Where did it get the songs from? From your playlist, or if you don't have a playlist, they can actually curate the songs for you. It uses uh, Amazon Prime's music library. Oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. and then you can set up customized timer, like set up past the timer for thirty minutes, so you you know exactly what happens in thirty minutes. Like past the timer has ended, so you you know. So you could actually set, let's say, Alexa set a one hour. Amazon lifetime so that we will never overrun again, right? Yes. Yeah, or in this case, 15 minutes. Actually, you know, we, we didn't overrun earlier. I was having so much fun, I, I didn't care. If you if you care, you should have told True. me. Yeah. I didn't know. I never checked the clock. Oh, that's because a live stream is so much fun. Everyone should live mm -hmm. stream. And if you're studying and you're not live streaming, you can tell Alexa, play study music and She'll play some study music for you. Okay, what is study music? Study that music always me. is a is a genre of, it's actually a kind of a, a genre of genres, right? It's just any music that's not doesn't usually doesn't have lyrics that will distract you, and it's very calming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but at the same mm -hmm. time, it's not too calming where you fall asleep, right? Because that's meditation music. So study music is relaxing, but it's not the music that will make you fall asleep. Now that's subjective, but they they have certain good amount of music that does that and again you can say turn on the light turn off the light and it'll do it i use alexa when it was christmas last year and it was connected to the smart plug and i always tell alexa to turn on and off the christmas tree i love you know what i can't get it yet i realize now i can't get it yet because when i'm with the baby sleeping yeah i'm always has to be in a silent mode you're always what i need to be in silent mode silent so mode. i can no sound Whatsoever. Ah, wait for your kid to get a little bit bigger. Or you can use it yeah. during the day. You don't have to do it when the baby is sleeping. Right? So if I want to turn off the light, I just turn off the light <laughs> myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but not, not, okay, so what I like is I can be in the bedroom and I can say turn off all the lights, right? And it will turn off all the lights around the house. That lets you, if you put all your light into one of those smart yeah. plugs first. Mm -hmm. Or all the major lights, right? Or I connect it to different uh, components that control the lights. Mm -hmm. And for full disclosure, I currently use it with Google Home. And with Google Home, it works with all these light switches, which I'm sure Alexa has an equivalent to. So I'll, I changed the physical light but switches. But all my lights are built in the house. Yeah, I not changed in the, the physical light switches. You know the switches where you turn on and off your lights? I changed yeah. that with uh, an Alexa switch. Or in my oh. case, uh, a Wi-Fi switch. So for example, if I look up um, smart switches, right? So I have like a three-way light, I have a two-way light, and these work with Alexa, you see? So you can 
you can change it to work with Alexa or Google Home. And for me, it works so well because it works for a three-way light switch, a two-way light switch, a dimmable light switch, any light switch, I just replace them all. So I have one for the kitchen, for the kitchen countertop, I have one for the living room, the dining room, the stairways, the hallway, mm -hmm, the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then at night, I can say, hey Alexa, turn off all lights, and then boom, done. What I don't like is when people play prank on me, because I'm actually afraid of the dark. And if I'm down in the, the um, living room, and someone says turn off all lights, that turns off the <laughs> living room, the dining room, the kitchen, and the, everything. It's like, oh my god, I'm scared. So yeah, that's the sucky part about controlling everything with Alexa, but you know what? I'm not doing this with the whole whole house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some money buy myself a new house, then I will install. Yeah, it. <laughs> it'll be good purchase. This is too much trouble. A new home, yeah, for sure. But for for this deal right now, you can get started with just the Alexa dot with the clock for thirty nine ninety nine, which is pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Definitely. Did it just go up five dollars since we started this video? It did, didn't it? Oh no, this is with the plug. No, this is this with, the, is plug. with okay. the plug. Yeah, yeah, okay. If you get the device only, it's only twenty nine ninety nine. Whoa, it's cheaper. Yeah, no clock. Wait, oh, with the clock. How do you get with the, the oh, clock? Okay, there he is. So you definitely want the one with the clock, which is down in the link below. It's $35. Mm -hmm. I think that's the sweet one to get. Like, I wouldn't want to get the regular Echo Dot anymore. I want with the clock. And mm. if I'm getting one with the clock, I might as well get one with the smart plug. And that comes out to be $45. It's a good start, right? If you want to get started in like the, the Alexa ecosystem, it's nice to have one plug. So you can control your favorite light, or it can be your favorite Christmas tree, or it can be your favorite speaker, or whatever. One plug is good to get you started. You get, you get I'll say, Alexa, turn on my disco ball. There we go. Saturday Night Live. I'm gonna hang one in there, so whenever we do live, we see all this sparkling yes, going on. That'd be cool. <laughs> that will be cool for sure. Yeah, so you can control anything, and then of course you don't even need to buy the the plug. Like we said, right? You can use it for an alarm clock, a timer. You can use it to play music, to turn off. Well, you you don't want to turn off the light. And also, this is cool too. If you want to mute the mic, the ring turns red, so that you know it's just quiet. Because Alexa, can you do shopping on it? Yes, you could. You could. Yes, exactly. I love doing shopping on it because you can tell them to, you know, purchase more toilet paper or purchase more paper towels because they know what you ordered last and they'll ask, did you want to order so and so? That was your last order and you can say yes and then they'll order it for you. And sometimes there's actually- It's just tell Alexa always some condoms, large size please. Uh, moving on, Alexa no. plays <laughs> hits and music through different platforms. Oh, I didn't know this because I just use Amazon Music, but you can connect to Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and Siri XM. Oh. That's pretty cool. And then Alexa is happy to help. You can set up uh, your timer, makes life easier at home, use voice to set timer, add items to a list, like a shopping cart list, create calendar events and reminders. You can also check the news, the weather, the traffic, ask for sports scores, movie show times, restaurant hours, and information. So you can do a lot of that. And then uh, regarding music, right? You can use your voice to play songs, artists, or genre through Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, and others. With compatible Echo devices in different rooms, you can fill the whole Ooh. house with music and listen to Audible, podcast, radio station, or pair with the Fire TV to voice control movies and entertainment. So once you have the ecosystem, you can start to build it out and you can do so much regarding music and if you have multiple devices around the house it can fill up your whole house with music right you don't need like an echo dot everywhere like an echo dot would be perfect for the bedroom but you can get like this one this is like the bigger echo speaker that you can use for like the living room because this has better quality music like the echo dot actually has good music already compared to the google home mini or the previous version of echo dot the second gen or even the especially the first gen every gen they've been improving on audio quality but if you want really good quality, check out the uh, Echo speaker. That one's great. And it's only $70 too, so they're all on sale right now. Mm. And the Echo Spot is also amazing too because this one now adds a screen. This is like the Google Home Mini equivalent. So you can actually have a beautiful clock that looks very elegant. Look how nice that looks, right? And then you can also have it monitor your doorbell. So you can, you can actually see what's... Ooh. Or you can call someone and have voice chat with them because it has a camera, right? 
but you can also see who's at the doorbell as well. So pretty cool um, component you can add. So you can add multiple That's speakers. That's a cool device. Yes, multiple speakers, devices, right? So if you have an Echo Dot, you can fill your whole house with music by having multiple Echo Dots, or you can have like Alexa speakers in different rooms, or you can have Echo Spot in other rooms, or you can even have an Echo Flex. Now Echo Flex has a speaker, but the speaker on the Echo Flex is eh, it's not that great. But if it's in the bathroom, it's kind of nice to have your music continue as you walk through the house into your bathroom, right? What if you're like listening to a podcast? It's kind of nice if you need to walk around the house and have it audible everywhere. Like remember when we were little kids, it used to be a fantasy, at least for me, to have a house that had in-house audio. Like remember CD players? I went to open house and I saw the, the, um, the, the retail rep real estate agent put a CD player and everywhere you walk in the house the music's playing like at, at uh, a mall or a store and I thought that was the coolest <laughs> thing and I said if I grow up I want to buy a house that has like integrated sound system well it, I'm grown up now I have a house but I bought an older house or a cheaper house that doesn't have integrated sound system but now with the Alexa I can add that back because I just need to add these speakers all around the house and I can say Alexa play my favorite song and then it'll be throughout the whole house even in the bathroom isn't that great or in whichever room you want, you don't have to have it in certain rooms, like the baby's room, you don't want it, or your daughter's room, because she's not into the type of music you are, right, for example. No. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So what else can the Alexa Dot do, especially the search gen? You can control more of your home, right? Once you get connected, you can check the thermostat, or you can control the temperature of your heater or your AC, other speakers, you can control your garage door, you can even control, well with your Wi-Fi, you can control fan, TV, smart locks, smart plugs, light bulbs, cameras, everything. It, it's a whole ecosystem. It's so awesome. And you can keep your family in sync too, like intercom. You can say, broadcast, dinner is ready. And everywhere, all the Alexa in the room will say, broadcasting, dinner is ready. Right? That way you don't have to say, dinner is ready. And get upset when your, your kid doesn't hear because they have noise canceling headphones. But anyway, Alexa's got skills too. With tens of thousands of skills and counting, Alexa's always getting smarter. Skills are, are like apps that help you do more, like playing relaxing sound or testing your music knowledge. Just say, Alexa, what are your top skills? Ooh, and they can show you your, their top skills. And Alexa for kids, um, make echo. I actually like, they do audio books, right? Alexa, do they read audio books? Yeah, yeah, they do audio books and podcasts. Okay, yeah. see that will be something I'll be interested in. Mm -hmm. Well, but then I won't kind of hear it in my headphone though. So yeah. mm. So you can listen to audiobooks from Audible. Like if you're home alone, that's kind of nice because you can walk around the house while you're doing listening, right? You can be cooking something and then you're drying your hands, you walk upstairs to take a break while you tell Alexa to set a timer for the pasta and you're still listening to your podcast while you take a small you know, lay in your bed for a few minutes, alarm rings, you walk down, you finish the pasta but while all listening to your podcast or your audiobook. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I never home alone though. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> it's great for kids too, right? You can enable Amazon free time in the Alexa app, automatically filter explicit songs, uh, get approved contacts, set time limits, and review activities with easy to use parental control in the Amazon parent dashboard. So you can let your kids use it and not have to worry about you know explicit songs or them doing stuff that's not approved from you and of course privacy protection is important because honestly when you have alexa in your home it's always listening to you so when you want something that's really private i would make sure to turn it off just in case right so it has mm -hmm. a privacy button and it has a red ring to let you know that it's at privacy it's easy to set up you put plug in a dot you connect it to the internet with your alexa app and then you just it's configured just like that and then you can ask Alexa for music weather news and so yeah I like the fact that it's basically really easy really easy to set up mm -hmm. yeah and for such a small little plug it can do so much it's got the LED display it's got the mic mm -hmm. off button volume up button volume down button and action button so if you don't want to call Alexa you can click action and it will start listening to you so yeah and the feature is a light ring the thing I thought was kind of interesting is now there's the power plug is not the micro USB anymore, it's like the barrel jack. So it's a little bit more proprietary. 
I remember the old one used to be a micro USB because that's cool because you can use any plug to charge it, but or rather to power it. But that, that same plug, if I want to in a in a jam, I can use it to charge my other devices too. But now it's a barrel jack. Uh, what's cool about the Echo is that it has a 3.5 audio output. So if you wanted to, you could connect it to like real speakers using 3.5 millimeter audio output. You can always use oh. Bluetooth speakers to connect to Bluetooth speaker too, which is also great because like if you're showering and you want to, to listen to Alexa in the shower, you can have like an Alexa Flex or an Alexa Echo outside the shower, but then control the, the Bluetooth speaker that's waterproof and be in the shower and then have Alexa play music while you're showering. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah. People love it. 82% five stars. Love the dot. It and its new look, but the sound is still disappointing. Yeah, it's a small sound sound speaker. If you want good sound, you probably want this one. This is the Alexa Smart Speaker. But for a mm -hmm. compact speaker, it sounds better than the Google Home Mini, for sure. And it sounds way better than the second gen Echo Dot. Overall improvement, but it's lost its flexibility. Yes, it's still a small device. But in general, for 35 bucks, it's just Alexa plus... I know, it's worth it. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Totally just worth to turn it. on and off yeah. the turn on and off device that's yeah. cool i would i would get the i would just get the smart plug at least have one smart plug so you can feel the power of controlling the light from anywhere in your home but anyway, alexa that is... turn off david <laughs> okay turn back on now did, so did you get all that? That was like the best part about the Echo Dot. Anyway, we are done now. If you didn't hear that, you guys just missed out on the best part of the video. So thanks so much for watching. Jeremy, any last words for all these amazing people that are interested in getting an Echo Dot third gen with the clock? Yes, I think this is probably the cheapest um, thing you get to make a make yourself a future home. Yeah. And well. Smart Can we home. still say future home, smart home? Smart home, yeah. yeah. And, and, well, back then in the 80s, they said future home, right? Yeah. But now it's smart home. And <laughs> I would I would do the combo with the smart plug. For 45 bucks, you get the Echo Dot third gen with a clock and a smart mm -hmm. plug for 45 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's a good deal. Totally. Get you started on your smart home. And you, you start to build it out really quick. And don't, don't, honestly, don't go all out and build it too fast. Build it one piece at a time so you really enjoy it. Like, I can control my garage door. I can open and close my garage door. I love that. I can change the lights in different rooms. I can turn on and off my Christmas tree. I can change the thermo thermostat, right? Just little things so that you can build it out into a very smart home. Well, with that said, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. If you want to see more tech videos, check out YouTube slash utechbia on my channel. If you want to learn about photography, photo gear, and Photoshop tutorial, mm -hmm. check out Jeremy's mm -hmm. channel at mm -hmm. youtube.com slash pixelstabbers. Until then, take care, stay healthy. We will see you later. Signing out. Adios. Take care. Bye-bye. We are bye -bye. out on one channel, and we are out.